our scripture reading is from Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 to 14. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ, and be found in Him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know Him, and the power of His resurrection, and the fellowship of His suffering, being made conformable unto His death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word, and let your word be blessed today. In one of his books, Max Lucado tells a story about the late champion boxer Muhammad Ali taking someone to his barn where he stored his trophies and awards. Standing in the doorway, he pointed to his many trophies and said, It ain't nothing. He had come to the conclusion that when all is said and done, his accomplishments meant very little. Centuries earlier, the Apostle Paul looked back on his life and on all the things he had been proud of, and he said, Whatever was to my profit, I now consider loss. I consider them rubbish. Paul said this not because he had a debilitating disease like Muhammad Ali, but because he had met the Lord Jesus. He was ready to let go of whatever was behind him so that he could serve the Lord and live by the power of the risen Savior. As we are about to enter into a new year, are we ready to let go of all the things that might keep us from experiencing the power of Christ's resurrection? Are we ready to let go of all the things that at one time seemed all important? Ask the Lord today for the grace to toss out everything that stands in the way of serving Him. The above was written by, by Arthur Schoenfeld. As we are considered going forward in 2021, it is very important that we close off the things that are behind the hindrances, and so many other things that were really not important. We are heading toward a new frontier. The waters have not yet been charted. We are going to walk by faith and not by sight. Our purpose is to go forward with the righteousness of God day by day. God bless you richly. And this is Lloyd Hart saying, I love you.